All right guys, today we're gonna talk about another really cool blade that you probably won't be able to get. But today I've decided that uh, I wanted to try to get some footage and I was given the opportunity by my friend and fellow YouTuber, Chook, which I will leave a link in the description below so you can go check out his channel to look at his um, Colorful Filth slash Northern Knives collab knife. And this is a Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and we're gonna dig into it a little bit further. So let's jump right into it. So we will revisit the comic in just a moment, but this is the knife itself. Now, unfortunately, I feel like I have like the worst possible luck when it comes to Northern Knives and their colorful filth drops because I always freaking miss them. I feel like I just in general, I'm a terrible drop person because I feel like I miss so many drops that I wanna get in on, especially especially all the cool freaking ones like Microtech whenever they release their RAM locks. I feel like I try to get on Instagram as fast as possible to see like, like when they drop and then I go to the website and everything's always gone. So I'm terrible when it comes to drops. Um, but that is the realities of working a full-time job and, you know, like moving and doing a whole bunch of things like being in school, all that kind of fun jazz. But enough life uh, aside from that, um, this is the really cool project and I totally missed it. Just like I've missed all of their other drops, which make me sad, but their next drop, I probably will not miss. So anyways, um, like I was saying, enough pity part. But this is what we're looking at is the Colorful Filth slash Northern Knives collab. This is their most recent drop. And this is the one that they call The Fallen. Now, for those who don't know or who are uninitiated with Northern Knives, they like to, every so often, I don't know if it's quite every year, but every so often, they like to show off their manufacturing prowess or their modding abilities. And they like to collaborate with a guy called Paul Monko. And he runs a company called Colorful filth and he's just an illustrator and uh, kind of knife enthusiast if you will but he's really good at making art and you know once again illustrating and then northern knives is really good at the actual manufacturing and delivery or at least modification of knives so what you're looking at right here is a spyderco paramilitary 2 and this is uh it has titanium handles. Of course, it's running their updated CPM S45VN blade steel. And what um, Northern Knives has done to it is a mixture, once again, kind of showing off their abilities and prowess. Um, it's a mixture of anodized titanium with Cerakote. And I have to say that like um, Northern Knives, they do a really good job with Cerakote and not just to try to like sell business. If you do ever need anything Cerakoted, I do actually recommend taking it to them because like just looking at this knife and how well uh, the attention to detail is like it's kind of hard to show off but like these little um, bits of I don't know if they're quite meant to be like blood in the sand or just sand texturing but it's all textured it's all very small once again my camera's not doing a good job of picking it up but you guys can see like just how much detail there is here and then what I like is you can see on the inside, like it's not just an exterior handle uh, or exterior exterior Cerakote, it is actually um, carried through to the interior. So they do this all by hand, it's all custom, but they do a really, really freaking good job. So they did the anodizing, they did the um, Cerakote on these, and it just always turns out freaking spectacular. Now this isn't their first rodeo, the biggest one that I still am so sad that I didn't get was as they did a really cool um, Benchmade bug out that was space themed. That one was awesome, but they've done a handful and they continue to, they have another one in the works. Um, but regardless, they love doing these projects and they are just so freaking cool. They are a little bit more of an artistic piece. So, you know, it depends what you want or what you collect knives for. As you guys know, I have things like my uh, Shrey or my Spartan Harzi folder. Um, that is a little bit more on the artistic side, but these things are still definitely users. And of course it is very well tuned. You guys can see, you know, absolutely just flicks right out and closes very well. So they are well tuned functional knives if you did want to carry them. And it is worth noting that it does come with its anodized screws or so the screws for the knife have been anodized to color match. And it does come with a clip or with the, the standard, you know, factory clip if you do want to put that on now we'll cover up the artwork obviously so that's why they have removed the clip and leave it up to your discretion if you want to put it back on but this is pretty darn cool and overall 
you got like a nice zombie theme, you got a nice kind of like military theme, um, or like military, some form of like futuristic military trooper there with a zombie, and then a like flaming plane that's probably going to crash soon. So really cool, but like I said, what I love is the absolute blend of Cerakote and anodizing here. It's really skillful, and I think it's just overall pretty darn awesome. So it's very cool, of course, each one of the, um, the colorful filths that they do comes with a you know like qu quick comic book that kind of explains like the inspiration behind it and so i won't get too into this but you know it just gives you like a quick like why these images exist and it's also really well illustrated on the inside too of course too there's definitely a heavy knife theme um, to these and they're just really cool so once again you know depending what you want out of knives this is definitely for most people I would say probably not going to be like an everyday carry type of blade but they are really cool if you like artistic um, knives and once again I think it's a really awesome opportunity that Northern Knives gets to showcase their abilities in bringing to bear you know these illustrations because it's one thing for you know a company to hire an illustrator to make things and then it's another for that same company to be able to manufacture and like bring those you know ideas and illustrations into like a functional like real physical product so that's what I think is really cool about these and uh, yeah this one just so happens to be number two of the batch I'm not entirely sure I did I totally forgot to ask them how many were made and once again a lot of people are going to ask this is not my knife so unfortunately this one is not a keeper for me but um, Chook the channel that I mentioned at the beginning of the video did let me um, borrow it to make some videos and you know um, bring it to you guys so i'm definitely doing that in this video and this will go back to him so if you want to see more kind of extended like edc use obviously i'm not going to use or abuse his knives um, but if you want to see it as a user then definitely go back to his channel and um, subscribe check him out and then he will have an update at some point i'm sure now, like I said, this is totally functional as a user because at the core you have titanium handles with that CPM S45 VN blade. So it is a completely functional blade and, you know, totally usable and actually very well tuned. But it just so happens to look really cool and have some lovely artwork on it. So once again, very well done job by the guys and gals at Northern Knives and a really cool project. And in the future, I definitely need to freaking pick up some of these like colorful filth collabs because they are really cool. And honestly, um, not necessarily encouraging it, but uh, they do fetch pretty high prices on eBay just because of what they are and the amount of artwork and time that goes into these and honestly for those just kind of putting it out there you know if you don't necessarily know how you feel about artistic blades or artwork these projects are in my opinion one of the better ones to get in on because oftentimes some of the really cool things about these drops is they already have fairly low prices so like they this i believe the original um like pre-order for this was like 350 dollars um, which for the amount of work is actually pretty reasonable considering that they're literally taking, you know, a paramilitary two and then, you know, adding titanium scales to it and then doing all of their own, you know, work to it. But the cool thing is depending on how many orders they get, like if they get say 300 orders, they're actually able to make these knives cheaper. So I think Chook was saying something along the lines that he ended up getting like $60 off or like everyone that placed their order on these got like $60 off because there were so many people that ordered it. So, you know, overall you're looking at like something that's sub $300 to get into a knife that is like truly, you know, has a lot of artwork put into it, a lot of time. Once again, like Northern Knives hires an illustrator that is really good at what they do to, you know, illustrate it and then they make all of this. So if you are wanting to like get a more artistic knife, something that you might want to like, 
you know, hang up or, you know, like show off or whatnot. These drops, when they drop them, are actually really good opportunities to get your foot in the door uh, to get a more artistic knife. So just kind of throwing that out there, I'm not trying to say that you need to get a colorful filth collab, but if these things do interest you, you might actually be genuinely surprised at how realistic or how affordable they actually are. So anyways, that's my spiel. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, guys, God bless and I'm out.